This study is primarily a methodologic paper that describes an often overlooked type of study bias called immortal time bias. It is a type of selection bias that can give the illusion of treatment effectiveness. It has been well recognized in the medical literature since the 1970s, but it has been often overlooked in urology-based studies as we illustrate in our paper by both researchers and reviewers. The definition of immortal time is a period of time where the outcome, usually death, cannot occur by design, and so you are already stacking in favor of the intervention or exposure of interest. Its occurrence can be complex and arise in many situations and settings. The classic example is when examining the effectiveness of heart transplantation for end-stage heart disease. The clock starts at the date of diagnosis, but in order to be in the heart transplant group, you have to stay alive until you get one. The ones who died earlier, before they can get a transplant, are not part of this group, which will falsely favor the effectiveness of heart transplant. It can commonly occur when evaluating drugs where duration of therapy is important, that is, when it is time dependent. There is no bias when you just compare the binary exposure, yes or no, to the drug. But when you examine duration of therapy, you will introduce immortal time. Take a look at the following figure 1b of our paper. The duration of drug treatment, in our case we use testosterone replacement therapy as an example, is categorized into tertile groups. In order for us to classify patients into the last tertile of duration of testosterone treatment, patients would need to stay alive up to the time where the last tertile starts. That is, we are selecting only the healthier patients who stay alive until then, introducing immortal time, as you can see in the figure. The same applies for the second tertile group. The good news is that there are many epidemiologic methods that can adjust and account for immortal time bias. In our example of testosterone replacement therapy, we illustrate the differences in its effect on cardiovascular mortality based with or without adjustment for immortal time biases. When we also reviewed the urologic literature, we found many studies that didn't account for immortal time when there was one present. We hope with our paper that many researchers and readers think about this potential bias during their critical appraisal.